Today people we have massive news on Mayhem 2.0 when it comes 25 plus new modifiers, 10 new levels of Mayhem, brand new legendaries, increased weapon damage, reroll modifiers at will, quitting doesn't reset modifiers, modifiers don't change between zones and many many more details. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and today I'll bring another BR3 video if you do enjoy it leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So Gearbox have literally just posted many many details on Mayhem 2.0 explaining exactly when it arrives and how it works so let's just get straight into the entire post. Starting April 23rd Batter your way through 10 increasingly challenging mayhem levels to get your hands on some of the most powerful legendary loot in BR3. Mayhem mode unlocks when you finish the main Borderlands 3 story and gives you the option to crank up the game's difficulty, thereby increasing the experience points that you get for killing enemies and the quality of loot that they drop. With Borderlands 3's April 23rd Mayhem 2.0 update, Mayhem Mode will benefit from a number of improvements designed to offer a more varied, lasting and rewarding challenge. For starters, you'll no longer need to visit the Pedestal and Sanctuary 3 to activate Mayhem Mode or adjust your Mayhem level. The option will be accessible via a new tab on your Echo Device menu, so that you can access it at any time. Note that in multiplayer games, the Mayhem level will be determined by the host. And when you matchmake for multiplayer, You'll automatically be matched with players who are at a similar mayhem level as you whenever possible. There will be more than 25 all new modifiers that can be applied to your game, each rated as easy, medium, hard or very hard. Easy modifiers are largely helpful and include things like big kick energy which actually increases your weapons damage but also increases the recoil and spread. There's also Galaxy Brain which dramatically increases the size of the enemy's heads so that crit shots are easier to land. Venture into medium modifier territory and beyond and things start to get more challenging. For example, the medium modifier floor is lava and encourages you to keep moving at all times by forming a pool of damage dealing lava beneath your feet when you stand still. And the hard modifier drone range spawns healing drones to accompany you and assist enemies. We'll let you discover the rest of the modifiers including all of the very hard ones for yourselves. Modifiers are selected at random but the number of modifiers and difficulty ratings of those modifiers are always the same for each mayhem level as seen in this table which you guys can see on screen now. Which we can see mayhem level 1 has one easy modifier, uh, mayhem level 2 has an easy and a medium, mayhem level 3 has easy, medium and medium. Mayhem 4, easy and hard. Mayhem 5, easy, medium and hard. Mayhem 6, easy, medium, medium and hard. Mayhem 7, easy, hard and hard. Mayhem 8, easy and very hard. Mayhem 9, easy, medium and very hard. And Mayhem 10, easy, medium, hard and very hard. And it seems though you only get 4 modifiers at max across all 10 Mayhem levels. But this is something definitely they could expand on in my opinion. The quality of the weapons dropped by enemies will improve as you work your way up through the Mayhem levels. For example, a Cutsman machine gun that drops in Mayhem level 2 will be more powerful than the one that drops in Mayhem level 1, given that enemies health, shield and armor stats increase with each Mayhem level. The damage boost that you get from weapons in one Mayhem level will help you prepare for the next. There are also 8 new legendary weapons that you can get from certain bosses only when playing at Mayhem 6 or higher. The Sandhawk, for example, is a legendary automatic sniper that fires a line of 9 bullets that move to mimic the way that your hawk flaps its wings. Wow! Put your Vault Hunter build and combat skills to the ultimate test by climbing up the Mayhem mode ladder and trying to survive the madness of Mayhem level 10. And there we have it guys, Mayhem 2.0 and all details you need to know. Sounds super interesting if you ask me. Again, it arrives on April 23rd, which is not too long, two days actually, from the day I posted this video, which is obviously this Thursday. I cannot wait to jump in, I really can't. So yeah guys, tell me your thoughts down below in that comment section. What do you think about this and let me know. But on that note, we have come to the end. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.